What's up guys, Easy Philosophy, and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic will be about the elements of Euclid. This is part two, and hope you guys enjoy. Now definition A, a plane angle is an inclination of two lines to one another in a plane which meet together but are not in the same direction. So over here, inclination means a slope or slant. So a plane angle, the blue angle right here, is the slope or slant of two lines to one another. It's the result of a slope or slant of two lines. So over here we have the line bordering the yellow square. And then over here we have the line bordering the green trapezoid. So these two lines are at a slope. Now when they meet, they create this blue angle. Now definition 9. A plane rectilinear angle is the inclination of two straight lines to one another, which meet together but are not in the same straight line. Now rectilinear means contained by, consisting of, or moving in a straight line or lines. Now this is also kind of like definition 8. This blue angle is formed by a slope or slant of these two lines, the purple and the pink. So these two lines meet up at this point, and then they create this angle. Now these two lines cannot be in the same straight line, or else there would be no angle. Now definition 10, when one straight line standing on another straight line makes the adjacent angles equal, each of these angles is called a right angle, and each of these lines is said to be perpendicular to the other. Now adjacent means of angles having a common vertex and a common side. So what this is saying is, let's say we have um, a black line over here, and then we have another black line standing on this other black line. Now, if these two angles on the sides are equal, then they both will be 90 degree angles. Now definition 11. An obtuse angle is an angle greater than a right angle. So we all know that a right angle is a 90 degree angle. Well, an obtuse angle is an angle greater than a 90 degree angle. So, anything 100 degree angle, um, 180, 270, all those are valid obtuse angles. Now, definition 12 is kind of the exact opposite. An acute angle is an angle less than a right angle. So, any angle less than 90 degrees, uh, 60, 10, all those are all valid acute angles. Now definition 13. A term or boundary is the extremity of anything. So this is just a general definition. We already said this in other definitions, but a term or boundary is the limit of... Now over here we have a lightning bolt figure, and the lines, the extremities, are these red lines. Now anything outside of that is not part of the figure, it's a boundary. The figure can't go past those lines. Now definition 4. A figure is a surface enclosed on all sides by a line or lines. So over here we have two examples of figures. This is a semicircle. Now this semicircle is enclosed by this line and really 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 tiny lines on the side. They are actually kind of points, but the semicircle is also counted as a figure. Now over here we have a little banner figure. It is enclosed on all sides by lines. There's nothing opening there's not an opening in the figure. There is only lines. 
Now, definition 15. A circle is a plane figure bounded by one continued line. Alright, it's my bad for cutting off the video right there. But I didn't want the videos getting too long because it is math and it is Euclid's elements. So it might get a bit boring. Stick around for part 3 and I'll see you guys later.